guys, Adam Fennig here with Fennig Equipment. You're tuned into the talking shed. Hey, today I've got a BBI Liberty hooked up behind me. As you can see, it's a self-contained spreader. It's got that oil reservoir on it, and uh, the hydraulics are provided by a PTO pump. If you look real close, you can see the PTO hooked up, and that pump runs uh, and provides all of the oil for the, the spreader, so we don't need any uh, hydraulics from the tractor. The nice thing about that is this spreader can be hooked to almost any tractor. You don't have to have the 20 gallon a minute uh, hydraulic flow. But I'm going to turn this camera around and what we really want to dive into is the rate controller side. I've got the uh, T-Jet IC18 rate controller hooked up to the ISO port on the tractor. It showed up here on the 2630 and we're going to walk through it. So right here is our icon for our BBI spreader. And when you hit that, this right here shows up. This is your parameter page. So it shows your current target rate you're working with and the density, density that you have plugged in there. Well, of course, over time, we're gonna have to change all this stuff. So let's first go to the page that we change all of our parameters. So you hit that three dots job parameters and this is where we change it so application rate let's make it 250 and uh, density let's say it's actually uh, 66 so we change that now let's go back and so that stuff has now changed 66 density and 250 pound application rate you get there by hitting those three dots the working screen your working icon up top is what I would call this one that is your run screen this is the screen you're going to have up when you're working and if you see here I'll engage the PTO and now you can see we're getting a spinner rpm reading we're not getting a roller reading because of course I'm not moving so it's not registering a speed uh, to then try to, to put out our target rate of 250 so that is our run screen I can hit the, the go button, but nothing's gonna happen because again, it's not getting any speed. So we'll turn that off, turn the PTO off. We'll go back home. So we've already been through the work screen. We've been through the parameters to change your target rate and density. Now the next step is the calibration. How do we calibrate this machine? So we click on the machine, calibrations pulses per volume and what we do here is hit that calibration tool and so what we're going to do here is we're going to turn the PTO on and we're going to tell it to dump product and so right now you can see the calibration is in progress and it it technically see the bed chain back here spinning so if there were product in there it would be dumping product out the back that we would then have to weigh so let's say that we think you know it's, it's dumped out enough product we'll tell it to stop spinning and now we have to weigh that product and right here is where we enter in what we caught and so what it does it, it's doing a guess and check so it knows how many pulses it just ran or how many revolutions of that roller. Now we have to match that with pounds to get pounds or pulses per pound. And so you do this calibration um, a couple times and basically once you uh, are finished, you enter in the accumulated amount until you are finished calibrating and your pulses per cubic foot, that number will change as you calibrate. I typically would calibrate two or three times to get really good and accurate. So if we go back from there, um, the filling side of it, you know, if you push this button, that's a full fill. So we just filled it all the way up. The amount, amount remaining is 17,637. Now, if, if you know you just put 2,000 pounds in it, 
you can change that 2500 and now it's got 2500 pounds left in it and uh, you're ready to go to the field <clears throat> so we know the work screen we know the parameters and calibration how to get there from there this button just shows you a mile per hour it allows you to match the speed from your screen with the speed on your tractor is what you're doing there this is a fast empty so if you get to the end of the field and you want to empty it out turn your PTO on hit the fast empty button and it's back there emptying out my spreader for me so I stop so that's what that button is and then this button here is also a fill button so you can do all your filling here from the home page so that's the gist of the ISO uh, T-Jet IC18 rate controller for the BBI spreaders um, this is the parameters page this is the work screen page don't forget to calibrate and uh, it's an awfully simple controller but man it it tells you a lot of information so really nice uh, automatic rate controller that can do a lot and can control everything that you need on your BBI spreader